In this episode, we look at the Deity S Mic 2S short shotgun microphone. I recorded this entire episode with the S Mic 2S without any processing except to loudless normalize the audio. I'll be comparing this mic to its big brother, the S Mic 2, which I reviewed early in the year and found it to be my second favorite mic to the Rode NTG3 that I've been using for years. I've been using shotgun mics indoors for years. The S Mic 2S, S stands for short, makes it better suited for indoor use as it is less likely to pick up interference issues such as comb filtering. What's comb filtering? It's when your audio signal, like your voice, arrives at the mic at different times, such as the sound bouncing off the walls and hitting back at the mic, which can create a slight distortion. It can happen if you get off axis and you're in a reverberant room and you get this warbling sound that's crazy impossible to fix in post. I haven't been able to reproduce this with any of the mics I own. By the way, it's called a comb filter as the wave of it looks like a comb. Longer shotgun mics can have this issue, which is why the shorter shotgun mic is better suited in this case. Here's the Deity S Mic 2 and I appreciate the hard shell case. It comes with the mic, a mic holder, and a soft foam cover. It uses an XLR type connector like most other professional microphones. The soft foam cover is great to have and will cut down on windy conditions outdoors, but to really handle strong wind conditions, I highly suggest you use a microphone blimp like this one here that I'll be reviewing in a later episode. The microphone mount is fine, but if you're gonna be handling the mic using a boom pole, you'll wanna get a good shock mount like the one shown here. Compared to the S Mic 2, the S Mic 2S is definitely much smaller, under 6 inches. Notice that the microphone body is made of brass, which will dramatically cut down on RF interference. The cheaper and not so well built mics you'll see are made out of aluminium and will have more RF interference, which you'll not like when you get your audio in post. Something to watch out for when buying a shotgun mic. Let's do some tests on these. I'll be comparing the S Mic 2 currently at $359, the S Mic 2S currently at $319, and my Rode NTG3, which I paid nearly $700 for. These are all high quality microphones, so you'll need some good headphones to really hear if there's any difference. All these are going to go into my Mix Pre 3 and are exactly leveled with no post processing except to normalize the audio. You may think starting a YouTube channel is all about getting more subscribers. Or you may think that getting views or watch time is the most important thing to expanding your channel. You've probably been told posting videos once or twice a week on a consistent basis is the thing to do. Or it's having perfect thumbnails or perfect titles or the best tags in your videos ever. All of these are correct and that's why everyone pushes these as the go-to solutions for being successful on YouTube. But None of these are the most important thing when creating or trying to expand your YouTube channel and make money doing it. So, what is the most basic and important thing so your videos get seen and promoted? It's simply one thing, which is, let's listen to silence on each of these mics, then measure the noise floor for each of them. I have carpet in the floor and other sound deadening blankets in the studio, but I do have walls and ceilings that should reverberate slightly so we have a true comparison. No one lives in a vacuum, so there will always be some room noise. Here's what the noise floor looks like on each of these. We have the Rode NTG3, that's the $700 mic, the Deity S Mic 2, and the Deity S Mic 2S. The S Mic 2 is also weather resistant. How weather resistant? Well, the cost of killing this mic off, let's find out how much abuse this thing will take. OK, 
Okay, so according to this recipe, good, add water. All right, and then add one deity, S Mike 2. Huh, okay. Yeah, I think I left my mic over at Bob's. I'll be right back. Maybe right there. That looks awesome. Perfect. Ice cold glass of Deity X Mike 2. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I may be nuts, but I ain't stupid. Dedicated to my friend, Curtis Judd. This should not work at all. By the way, that's why you buy this, so you don't have that camera sounding thing that you're currently going on. Let's hope this doesn't blow up after abusing the hell out of it. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Look at that. Well, I'll be damned. The S Mic 2S is a great mic for just over $300, and the quality you will get will rival microphones at twice that price. It's actually an amazing price point and finally gives you an affordable mic that gives you good, clean audio. If I were buying my first high quality shotgun mic, I would without a doubt save some money and get the Deity S Mic 2 and be done with mics for years to come. You can go for something cheaper, but then you'll be battling hiss and noise, which is a pain to deal with. And I say, spend some extra cash and take audio out of the equation so you can concentrate on your craft. No dicking around with subpar gear. This comes with a four year warranty, which tells me right away that Deity believes in their mics and the people who buy them. I've also met Andrew and his team and they are super responsive and they take care of their customers almost to a fault. So what's the real choice for this type of small microphone? If you're mostly shooting indoors and outdoors only once in a while, I would highly suggest the Deity S Mic 2S. If you're mostly shooting outdoors and only indoors once in a while, I would suggest the Deity S Mic 2. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and smash the subscribe button to get more great videos every week. By the way, you may want to check out my recent product, the Premier Pro Motion Graphics Kit, normally priced at $49 and on sale to my viewers for a discount of 70%. It's only $14. Links to everything mentioned in this video are in the description below. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.